Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny K. I'm coming back at you with another product review. Today we are on Amazon and we are reviewing a grill guard for my 2017 Toyota Tundra. More specifically, a grill guard from the company Black Horse. And full disclosure. I am not being paid by Black Horse, nor am I being paid by Amazon at this time to review this product. If that changes in the near future, I will be transparent and I will let everybody know. Okay, so that being said, we are just going to jump right in and start going over some things that you may need to know if you plan on purchasing this product. Okay, so first and foremost, the price. We're looking at $709. Um, to be honest, that's actually more than what I paid for it six months ago. Um, call it inflation, call it what you want. Uh, I paid well under, um, 670, I think for it. So again, it's not a, not a huge difference in price, but it is more expensive now than it was. Um, me personally, would I buy it again at this specific price? Yes, absolutely. Um, $40 is not going to be the difference between me purchasing this product and not purchasing it because I think it is that good. Okay, so this grill guard is compatible for a 2007 to 2020 Toyota Tundra. It says in parentheses, excluding the years 2018 to 2020 with models that have the Toyota safety sense and pre-collision sensors. Um, it also says that this is compatible for a 2008-2022 Sequoia, excluding the Platinum trim. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive right into this about the parking sensors, pre-collision sensors, etc., etc. Because um, that was one of the biggest concerns I had when it came to getting a grill guard or upgrading bumpers or things like that is wood putting these aftermarket parts on my vehicle affect any of my sensors. So being as I drive a 2017 Tundra, even though I do have the limited, I do have the blind spot monitoring feature. I do not have the Toyota safety sense. So I do not have the dynamic cruise control, radar cruise control or, or whatever. Okay. So the only thing I had to worry about personally was the parking sensors. And I am happy to report that since I've had this grill guard installed on my vehicle, I have not had any issues with the parking sensors. I've also not had any issues with the blind spot monitoring. I've had no issues with any of the factory options that were already on the vehicle since I installed this grill guard. And I've had this grill guard on for five and a half months now. Okay, I've had no issues. So I do know that upgrading to bumpers, which is what I originally wanted to do with my truck. In order to do that, I would have to eliminate my blind spot monitoring feature unless I went with a really expensive um, option for like a $2,000, $3,000 bumper. And I personally did not want to do that. So I decided to, to say, you know what, I'm not the only one who drives this truck my wife drives it as well i approached her about the possibility of upgrading bumpers on the truck but losing the blind spot monitoring and she said well absolutely not because when i'm driving it she is a lot shorter than i am sometimes she has issues seeing out of the truck when she's driving and the blind spot monitoring could potentially you know save her life and so i said you know what that's that's a good point not to mention when we pay for the truck, we don't want to pay to lose a feature. So I decided to say, all right, let me start researching a product that can allow me to have my cake and eat it too, as it were. So that's when I started researching grill guards. So that's when I came across um, this product on Amazon. Um, I was looking at the, uh, the ranch hands. I was looking at the the West Ends. I had a, I spent a lot of time in four wheel parts, and I sp I made a lot of phone calls to um, folks at Extreme Terrain, and just a bunch of phone calls, and I wasn't able to get a clear cut answer. So I pretty much said, you know what, I'm gonna have to treat my truck as the guinea pig. I'm just gonna have to, you know, take that leap, 
order the products. I really like the way it looks. I'm going to install it, see if it works out. If it does, great. If not, what I'm left with is I can try to resell it and lose two, three hundred bucks. Okay. So luckily, I'm happy to report again, five and a half months down the line, I have had absolutely no issues with this product. Okay. So um, every once in a while, you make a decision, it works great. And then every once in a while, you make a decision and it doesn't work out. And you know, you learn from it and move on. Okay. So if you have a 2017 or older Toyota Tundra from 2007, if you have parking sensors, you should be able to install this with no problems and it should not affect the sensors. Okay. At least to this point in time, I have not had any issues with my sensors. If that changes, I will definitely let everybody know. Okay. But I wanted to get that part completely out in the open just so everybody has been informed. If you have a 2018 or newer, I wish I had some more info to provide, but I don't because my truck is not a 2018. Okay, so I am unable to let you know if this product is still compatible with the pre-collision systems. Okay, it says excluding. However, sometimes you can't take that for what it's worth. There are people who have purchased these products and they have gone in knowing that it says it will not work because of the Toyota Safety Sense. People install it anyway, and it's worked out just fine. Okay, if you want to take that risk, then that's going to be completely on you. Um, I'm not going to be a hundred percent and and say that it absolutely will work because I I just simply don't know. Okay, um, there are people who have cut out this middle section here. Um, let me see if I can find a better photo here. Well, let's just blow these up anyway. So, yeah, the middle section here where the uh, where the cursor is, um, that's where the emblem is for the Toyota Safety Sense. Uh, I've seen people who have had to cut that out, and they've said that it's worked just fine. I've, I've read that people have had to make no adjustments whatsoever, and it's worked out completely and totally fine. So... Again, if you're willing to take the risk, then by all means, you know, that's uh, that's for you to decide. I cannot make that decision for you and I don't want to. OK, so I think that kind of covers the, uh, you know, that portion. So we're going to continue to move through the rest of these pictures here. Um, gives you some ideas of how this thing is going to look when it's installed. Uh, yes, it fits with uh, fender flares. No problem, I'd imagine. Any fender flares that you can purchase, it's not going to be an issue to have this with the fender flares at the same time. Um, here's another uh, another view of the of the front. Um, it does give the truck a damn good aggressive look. Like I'm really I'm really happy with it myself. Okay, um, so here's a, a passenger side front view, and then another driver's side front view just at a slightly different angle so not the best photos but i guess it's enough to you know give you a at least somewhat of a perspective so this is probably the most informative photo that's available at least on the amazon site uh, so it says vehicles blah, blah, blah. vehicle specific design fits the contours of your vehicle um, at least in this case yeah that's for sure. Definitely on the Tundra. Um, this is actually kind of neat. It's, it's a three-piece design, which again, this is not the only one. I'm sure that uh, there are other options out there. Those $1,000 options from Barricade or even Weston. And I'm, I don't know about the Ranch Hand, um, but other manufacturers do purposely make this a three-piece design um, for the occasion where you don't even want to roll with, with these on. So... You have the option to have this thing installed with the uh, removable headlight covers. Um, you can have those on or off. And it's only a series of three bolts and nuts on each side. It's really easy to take on, really easy to take off. Uh, not to mention it makes overall installation of this thing way easier. So you just completely ignore these 
for like the first 90% of the install. And then once you get this big bulky guy mounted up to the truck, then you put these, these guys on, okay? Way easier, trust me. Especially if you're doing this by yourself. If you have a buddy, then maybe you can get away with it, but even then, I would just avoid it until, the, until towards the end of the install, okay? Um, it does have a black powder coat finish on it. It does have hole punched um, metal mesh and it does have a mounting location at the bottom here for up to a 20 inch light bar. I guess it's not up to, I guess it would only be a 20 inch light bar because of the specifics of how these mounts are, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on down here. There's not a whole lot more info um, about the product because that was pretty much it. Um, there's some manufacturer info, which I definitely took some time um, to do some research into, mainly because I'd never really heard of Black Horse until I came across this product. So they do have a website. They do have this product on their website. Um, if you've never heard of Black Horse, I would definitely consider uh, giving, them a, giving them a read um, because... Again, you want to be sure before you're doling out $700 for something, okay? Um, some little blurs here from the manufacturer. Black Horse Off-Road Rugged Grill Guard adds aggressive rugged look to your truck. Um, they're all designed to fit your truck specifically. Bolt-on installation, wraparound design to protect the lights. Okay, I mean, that was kind of obvious from the photos and then also from the previous features that virtually already stated all of this. So cool. All right. So this is an interesting thing here. So we did talk about the Toyota Safety Sense. Um, it shows here that this mesh piece is actually removable. Um, on mine, it did not have this option when I ordered it. So I don't know about that. I, I wish I had more information about this, guys. I just I just don't. Um, I don't know if there's like an option that you'd pick in like the checkout. But again, when I ordered mine, it didn't give me the option. Maybe it's because I have a 2017. Maybe it's possible if you order this for a 2018, they give you that option. But I don't know. Again, I'm not... I don't want to promise anything that I am completely unsure of. Um, it might even be worth a uh, like a phone call to the manufacturer. But in a perfect world, you can make a fair assumption that if this is removable, this centerpiece, if that's removable, then you should be, again, this is just an assumption, you might be okay with using this and it might be compatible with all the sensors and the Toyota Safety Sense. All right, so just to, just keep that in mind. Okay. So it actually says that uh, this these guys have been in business for 22 years, so maybe they went under a different name, or maybe I just have been ignorant to them all this time. Um, but anyways, uh, I definitely know them now because, like I said, I, I purchased this product, I installed it, I've been using it, and uh, I, really, I really like it. So I might potentially order some more products from them in the future, okay? So one of the highlights that I wanna go over here is this right here, the overall weight of the item, 127 pounds. Um, it did not feel that heavy, uh, at least not to me, okay? I don't know if that's, um, I mean, I thought that was shipping weight but I don't think it is because it says item weight here. It says it twice. So it says 127 pounds here, and then it says 127 pounds here. Um, one, I guess, one myth about putting these on the front end of your vehicle is because you're adding more weight. It puts added stress on your suspension components and your tires and, and this and that, yada, yada, yada. Um, 
there's only, in my opinion, a very small element of truth to that. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, to be honest. Um, if anything, just put a little bit more air in the tires. That's, that's it. That's all I would do. Um, I don't feel any additional weight in my steering since installing this. I, I basically don't even realize that it's there. So if you're concerned about front end weight of this, um, I really wouldn't be if I were you. Um, again, that's, that's just me. If you truly feel like it's a bad idea doing this to the front end of your vehicle because of the added weight, then that's totally fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with you. Um, country of origin, you know, China, yeah, what else is new? Um, and there's the uh, the item model number again for you. It does include all the hardware that you need. It also does include some, um, I'm not going to say they're the best instructions, but they're solid instructions. Okay, you can definitely make it happen with the instructions that are provided. Um, these are some reviews of people on Amazon, which is one of the reasons why I considered the product. Okay, so... Again, there's only 13 of them, so that's where my hesitancy was. But with more research and with establishing kind of a comfort level with the company and then just kind of saying, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot, I'm really glad that I did. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go to the truck. We're going to take a look at it to see exactly what my install looks like. And then from there, uh, I'll go over some uh, issues that I ran in during install. Not a lot, um, but just so everybody is informed. All right, so uh, everyone just stay put, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is going to be part two of our review of the uh, Black Horse um, Grill Guard for the uh, 2017 Tundra. So here is my 2017 Tundra. So this is exactly what the finished install looks like specifically uh, we will get some angles here for everyone so there's driver's side and there's the front and then there's our passenger side angle here all right so some interesting things about this bad boy it is adjustable so it has this adjustable dealio here. So you just pull this out and then you have to go down here and loosen those two bolts. So you have a set on each side. So you have an adjuster here and then you loosen these two bolts here. And then you can see these brackets have built-in grooves on them. And that makes it to where when everything is loosened, this whole thing actually will pull down and in doing so it gives you easier access to your hood and it will even make it to where you might be able to pull that grill out if you need to okay but to be perfectly honest i have not had the need to make any type of adjustments like that uh, when i pop the hood i can just get my hand underneath here and then the hood will will lift up it's not the easiest thing but it is doable okay so again there's my front parking sensor on the driver's side and there it is on the passenger side there is no issue it doesn't interfere it doesn't you know just beep annoyingly because these things are not in the way So it works out fine and then you have an allen bolt here here and here and then you have the nuts on this side and then you have one over there and you have one right here and the same thing over here so you have your your nuts there and then you have your allen bolts on that side as well and so if you want to take these off you absolutely can or like i said the overall installation don't even put these on until you're pretty much done 
because this part in and of itself is not the easiest thing to hoist up by yourself. A uh, little trick I used is I took a uh, five gallon orange empty bucket from Home Depot and then I also stacked some two by fours on it. And then I started off by taking this bottom portion and I just laid it on the bucket. And then I took the top portion, I just kind of hoisted it up and it was able to line up easily enough to where I was able to weave the bolts in. Okay. So next thing we're gonna go over here real quick is do we see my little modification to my recovery hooks there? So this answers the question, is this thing compatible with your factory tow hooks or tow hooks in general? Uh, the answer is uh, yes and no. All right. So this I'm, I'm going to provide more emphasis on these in another video. Um, but there's an aftermarket option that you can use uh, to maintain uh, your recovery hook options. If you have the factory tow hooks on here uh, before you do this install, those are going to have to be removed and you're not going to be able to reuse those. Okay. But again, stay tuned. I will go over exactly uh, what this product is. So that way you can have this grill guard and also maintain a uh, recovery hook option. Okay. So I think for the most part that covers this. Um, and then here's your uh, one side of your mounting location for the 20 inch light bar so it gives you some room here to uh to adjust so you might be able to fit a smaller light bar on there but i don't know yet so i guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it um one thing i've noticed is you might see here this black horse emblem that thing has never stayed on at least not that corner so that just pops off um that doesn't bother me at all. I'm probably just gonna wait for that to fall off and just call it good because this is not something that really serves any function or purpose whatsoever. So again, I'm not uh, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so um, let me know what you guys think in the comments about this. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please comment, like, and subscribe. I will continue to provide any updates. Uh, with this product as I see fit. If something bends, if something chips, or you know, if something happens that I feel like anyone needs to be informed of, I will let everybody know. Um, oh, yeah, I did want to cover this real quick. This little uh, centerpiece in here, um, the instructions say that you can just cut out portions of it to do this install. I just ripped the whole thing out. Um, in order to get to those bolts in there and to properly torque them and tighten them, um, it was easier for me to do it just when I didn't have that piece in. I might put it back in. I might not. As of right now, it's not really bugging me. So um, I think other than that, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. Um, if you would like to contribute to my channel, uh, my buy me a coffee is going to be in the about section of my channel. I will also uh, copy and paste a link to my buy me a coffee and my Etsy shop. Uh, in the description of this video. Um, my Etsy shop is a, uh, another way of supporting the channel. Um, I sell very, very cheap digital wallpapers that are fun for downloading to make for like arts and crafts or scrapbooking or things like that. So uh, if you're ready and willing, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, other than that, we're going to sign off for this one and uh, we'll see everyone next time.